your question is evaluate limit x tends to 0 fx is equal to first is modulus of x pi x and 0. For modulus of x where x is not equal to 0 and x is equal to 0. We know that what is that? x. That means it contains two values x plus 0 plus and 0 minus. 0 plus and 0 minus and next is your 0. So first we will take 0 plus. What we will get? For that what we have to write? We have to write the same thing limit x tends to limit x tends to 0 plus. For 0 plus we have to take this only. So what is this? Modulus of x by x. Now, understand that what is the modulus of x? Modulus of x is nothing but it's a distance formula. It's a distance formula. That is your what? x1 your x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. That means it is equal to what? Plus and minus root under x square. By x. That is equal to what? Plus and minus x by x. Now they have given the condition that 0 plus. X is 0 plus. That means what we will take? We will take plus 1. Not minus 1. We will get what? X by X. That is equal to 1. Now we will take another. That is 0 minus. So we can see that that is your limit x tends to 0 minus and the formula remains the same. Y means they both both contain this thing. So that is your modulus of x by x that is equal to now again same formula plus and minus root under x square by x. That is equal to plus and minus x by x. Now they have taken 0 minus. That means minus sign should be there. So we, what we will, there, we will take? We will take it as minus x by x. That is equal to minus 1. Now you can see 1 and minus 1. That means they are not equal. So just we will write the answer what? Limit x tends to 0 plus fx is not equal to limit x tends to 0 minus fx. Hence this is not a function.